Tonight, new developments on a story Channel 2 Action News has covered for months. A grand jury in Fulton County has now indicted a VA employee for the vicious beating of an elderly veteran. Channel 2 Action News was the first to report on this attack and the first to obtain surveillance video showing the assault back in April that left that veteran battered and bruised. Channel 2 investigative reporter Justin Gray is live in downtown Atlanta with these new developments. Justin, the Fulton County DA says that suspect could face more than 20 years behind bars. Yeah, all six of these charges are felonies, and the Fulton County District Attorney says she is going to ask a Superior Court judge here not to grant bond in this case because she says this suspect, Lawrence Gillard, already fled once after he's arrested, was arrested, and they worry he could be a flight risk again. This is the booking photo for Lawrence Gillard, now behind bars at the Fulton County Jail. This is also Gillard back in April, the man whose face was blurred out in the surveillance video. A Department of Veterans Affairs patient advocate brutally attacking an elderly veteran at the Fort McPherson VA clinic. Tell us when you saw this as a prosecutor and as a person, what you thought? I think first you digest this material as just a human being. Um, it's horrible. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis tells me she has now obtained this six count indictment from the grand jury against Gillard. All felonies, including aggravated assault, aggravated battery, and abuse of an elderly person. Talking about serious time and minimum 20 years, um, but probably much more than that. Channel 2 Action News first broke the story of the attack three months ago, then first obtained this surveillance video through a Freedom of Information Act request. 73 year old Vietnam veteran Philip Webb told me he knocked on Gillard's door that day to say he was going to the restroom. He was waiting to discuss scheduling hernia surgery. He was supposed to be helping me. But instead, you see Gillard put his figure up to Webb's face. And when Webb tries to push it away, Gillard charges, shoving him up against the wall, choking him with both hands around his neck, then body slamming the elderly veteran to the ground where he stomps on his head, then kicks him in the head a second time. This is an overreaction. You do not get to react this way. There was no reason to strangle this man. There was no reason to kick him while he's down on the ground. There's no excuse for this behavior. He could have killed him. He absolutely could have killed him. And D.A. Willis tells us since the attack, Gallard fled the state. So they will be asking a Superior Court judge to have no bond set in this case. We had difficulty tracking him down. We had to get several different agencies involved. Um, we were unable to locate him for some time period. As to why it took so long to bring these charges, there were some jurisdictional issues. Gallard was first charged in federal court before it was decided this should be a state ma matter. So those charges were dropped, and then this case brought before the grand jury. The VA inspector general, though, investigating this the entire time. And Fannie Willis says they presented evidence to those grand jurors. Reporting live at the Fulton County Courthouse, Justin Gray, Channel 2 Action News. And Justin, for a veteran to be treated that way, it's hard to watch. Justin, thank you. I know you'll stay on it. And Channel 2 investigative reporter Justin Gray has uncovered several major issues involving the Atlanta VA. Just last month, he reported on the long wait times local veterans face for medical appointments, the average wait time twice as long as the national average. Earlier this year, we were the first to report on a VA supervisor caught bragging on social media about taking bubble baths on the job. Also this year, multiple veterans reached out to report on concerns with vision care they received. One veteran said the Atlanta VA left stitches in her eye for five years. Last year, we showed you images of piles and piles of mail. Sitting in the Atlanta VA, all of these undelivered letters can delay or prevent veterans from getting the treatment